I'm at the yard of Kelly Mitchley and it's fantastic that she is joining me this morning because I'm sure you can notice that her eyes are looking really painful. Recently had some surgery, looking like you went 10 rounds with Mike Tyson, but glad to see you on the main, Kelly. No, thank you so much. It just has been a long week, so with the eyes, but it's getting much better. Now the yard are going to have a very busy start on Friday, which is the work riders maiden plate. They have four entries. We're going to sh start with Shine in Memphis, who possibly needed her local debut and can improve. She'll be the mount of striker. And Cipe will be aboard Montreal, and she's had her some headgear changes made. Montreal have taken her earmuffs off. As Cipe rides her every day at work, so I have given him a chance to ride her as we have cut her back completely in trip. And just hoping for improvement. Shiny Memphis, she has her issues, but she has improved. Um, yeah, strike her board. I think she's definitely got a shout. They'll be joined by Ponte Vecchio. She has Stephen aboard and she possibly found the mile a bit of a stretch last time out. She'll also cut back to a sprinting trip. And Doc will be aboard What Now My Girl, who has fair form over sprinting trips locally. What Now My Girl, she might be looking for a little bit further, 1400, but couldn't find a race first, so put her in the work riders, gave Doc a chance again, and just hoping for the best for her. And Ponte Venture, last time it was a trip too far for her, cut her back in trip. Stephen aboard, hoping for better efforts from her. We move to race two where we will see Willow Seed have his very first start. He's a cult by Willow Magic. He'll be joined by Serendipitous. Now she may take on male opposition, but she gets the sex allowance, the claim, and she has the experience. Serendipitous, I'd definitely give her a shot in this race. She's working very well. She's a very speedy filly, 1,000 meters for her with the claim and the sex allowance. So definitely give her a shout. Willow Seed, got some delay aboard. He, I think he's, if he's not green, he should run a good race, but he is looking for a touch further. Three runners in race three, and here the horse that really catches the eye is Sun Spectacular. He'll be making her local debut and has very smart Western Cape maiden form behind her, and very importantly, has Richard Ferry aboard. Yeah, as you know, when Richard phones for a ride, must have a chance. Um, yeah, no, she's been working very well at home, expecting her to run a huge race here, yeah, give her each way chance. So expecting a nice run from her. Mentality Monster and Equilibrium will join Sun Spectacular. Um, Mentality Monster could enjoy cutting back in trip and Equilibrium will be trying the turf for the first time. Equilibrium, she's come off a small break as she's had a few issues, but she's back to herself, working well, just expecting some improvement from her. Mentality Monster, last time a trip too far for, for him, just cut back in trip, working well, expecting him to be in the quartets. He's a goal and first master will line up in race four. First master is his second run here for us, just seeing how he goes, expecting some improvement from him, but he can, he can end up in the places. He's a goal. I'm not sure he's a fan of the turf, but giving him a chance again, as if it wasn't Polly, I would say he would be a big runner, but mm. just hoping some improvement from him. In race five, both Ellis Island and Mingxi, well, they'll be taking a step up in class and taking on Stronger. Definitely both are taking on Stronger. If Mingxi can just settle, he can run a good race, as he always is looking for the bit further trip. Um, Ellis Island, him also, he's a front runner, 270. He just needs to settle, relax, and he can hopefully re end up in the places. Another one who will be taking on Stronger is Silvery Blue. We'll see her in race six. She may be taking on Stronger, but she raced off a really good win last time out, and she does love the mile. Silvery Blue, she enjoys, she enjoys the trip. She's been work, working very well at home. She pulled up well from her last win, and expecting her to, to run in quartets as well. Behind us, really having a good dig in after morning work, is Ella's delight. She runs in race seven. Now she's stepping down in class, and the last time she actually took on this opposition, she found the winner's box, so we can perhaps expect some improvement. Exactly what you said now, Nadina. I expected to go very close to the winner's box. She's been working very well at home, just hoping Donald can get her over the line. Just expecting her for some improvement because she works very well at home and just not bring it to the course. And in race eight, Ferrando just found one better last time out. He's really holding form and looks to be a runner. And Kelly, how do you feel though now up to 1,200? 1,200 might be a touch on the far side for him. So we are taking his blinkers off so he doesn't overdo it and expecting him to run a fair race. Let's hope Blinkers Off does the trick. Ferrando can settle and see out the extra furlong.